The Tchaikovsky Rococo is an interesting story because on these CDs I play the what it is known now as the original version. What happened was he dedicated it to a cellist called Fitz, Fitzenhagen, who then um, basically restructured the piece, reordered the variations, and cut most of the last one out, although he sort of sellotapes the ending in um, to make, you know. So basically he created a potpourri, a sort of um, a selection of, of hits from Tchaikovsky's own piece. And I felt, and, and apparently when, and he sent this off, his rearranged version to the publisher directly. And when Tchaikovsky saw it, apparently he was furious. Um, but it, it was either too late um, to stop it, or Tchaikovsky, I think he said, oh, devil, take it or something. Let, just let it go. Um, but it was never what he, it was never either what he wrote or what he intended. And I felt, you know, when it came to recording it, that it was only fair to record what Tchaikovsky actually wrote. I don't like composers' music being cut. If that's what they want, then it should be played. Um, and you have to make it work uh, at the length the composer intended. I always think of uh, Ratman off the piano concerto, the people cutting out um, the, the sections in the middle, you know, because they, they, they kind of wander, they're a little bit dreamy, but it's absolutely beautiful music. And if he had wanted it cut, he'd have cut it.